Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel Mejia, I'm a last year master's student in Universidad Los Andes and I'm here to present our work, CEPAL, Spatial Gene Expression Prediction from Local Graphs. So, in the um, gene expression paradigm, we first have DNA and then we have messenger RNA and finally we get proteins. Specifically for messenger RNA, uh, the transcriptomics uh, like technique is the quantification technique associated with it. And here we can take a single sample, let's say a, a tissue patch, and with that we can obtain an expression vector where um, each component is associated uh, with a single gene and the value of the component is the level of expression of that gene. So uh, with that, let's say we have an histology, an histology image and we divide it into patches then uh, we could perform transcriptomics in each of these patches and we would obtain a series of expression maps. This is uh, what we know as an expression volume and the whole technique uh, would be known as a spatial transcriptomics. This is a, a real technique that we're using now uh, but uh, and it has a huge potential for uh, understanding many diseases but it has some drawbacks such as that the experiments are expensive and that it requires a specialized equipment to do it. So uh, we asked this question of whether uh, we could just take the image and uh, predict uh, the gene expression level for that patch. Uh, there have been some methods proposed for this. Uh, the first one uh, are global methods with, which use uh, the whole slide as an input. They can include a spatial context but they lack enough samples because uh, the publicly available data sets are now uh, just not, not big enough. Um, then uh, some people proposed uh, local methods which used individual patches as input uh, which do have enough samples uh, to train the models but they uh, cannot include spatial context. So with, with this division we decided to propose a hybrid method that's called CEPAL which uh, basically uh, makes prediction, predictions uh, at the patch level, so a single vector is the output, but it includes a spatial context within um, a local spatial neighborhood uh, graph. This has uh, both uh, advantages of enough samples and including uh, spatial context. So uh, to address this task, we first defined a benchmark with two make, uh, ma important um, points. First, we decided to include just genes with a really significant spatial pattern. And second, we decided to supervise uh, only delta uh, changes with respect to the mean expression in the training set. Um, another part of our proposal is to impute missing values in the training data. So this is a real sample uh, for the from the data set. And uh, this is uh, the sample after we have, uh, after we pre-processed it uh, using an adaptive uh, medium filter. Uh, and this uh, imputation is only done uh, during training and the evaluation is made uh, strictly on real data. However, this, is, this improves training stability and it gives an approximately of about, um, approximate of 10% uh, improvement in uh, gene expression correlation, correlation in test data. Um, so for CEPAL, the method is fairly simple. Uh, we basically first train an image encoder uh, that makes a completely um, local prediction. Then uh, we uh, build a graph uh, with the spatial neighbors of that, of that patch. And finally, we use the graph and we pre-process the graph. We, we, pro we process the graph with a um, gene graph neural network module that predicts an spatial uh, correction to the initial prediction. Uh, with this, uh, here I can show you some um, qual quantitative results. First, we out outperform all methods uh, in two breast cancer data sets and uh, the, ablation, the ablation study uh, showed that just predicting deltas already uh, improves the state of the art and that introducing uh, 
spatial context by um, increasing the patch size is worse than our approach, which is that using the graphs. And uh, with that, now I can show you some uh, qualitative results where uh, here are the best uh, predicted genes, you can see that we do have, we do achieve a good level of correlation. However, the output is uh, in, in most cases over smoothed. And uh, in the hardest gene, genes, what we can observe is that uh, the prediction is always almost constant. Uh, so as a conclusion, uh, the prediction of deltas instead of absolute values of expression improves performance. Um, using graphs to include spatial context improves local predictions first and also outperforms increasing increasing the patch scale. And finally, uh, Cepal is bridging the gap between local and global methods, uh, leveraging uh, small data sets while also being able to include spatial context. With that, I want to thank you for your attention and I'm happy to receive any questions in the poster.